Hi, my name's Phil Novell and I'm the founder of Sash Window School. In this video, we're gonna show you a quick step guide on how to replace your sash cords. Number one, remove the staff bead. Right, so first things first. The first thing we've got to do is remove the staff bead. Now, I've got a nice, fresh, clean box sash window here, but obviously you're gonna have a box sash window covered in paint. So your first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna get your knife and you're gonna score down the staff bead so as you create a little bit of a, a slice in the paintwork, so hopefully it's gonna stop the paintwork cracking out. So you would do that on both sides and then you just get something like a chisel, an old chisel maybe, and just get it in there, knock it in with a hammer and then you're just gonna ease these out. So your left, put that somewhere safe. Might be a good idea just to mark it up if it's the left or right hand side. Same with the other side. Only the left and the right hand side you need to do, you don't need to do the top or the bottom. Just replacing sash cords. Number two, remove the lower sash. Right, so to remove the lower sash, pretty simple. Your sash cords may well have already been broken, so you might not even have to do this step. Um, just be careful because if they're broken, the that, right? So first things first, just get my hammer. So if the cords are intact, all you need to do is get a 40 mil panel pin, pull the cord to where it doesn't go anymore, and just tap it in like that. And we do that on both sides. Pull it down, pin it in. Right, so I know on this sash, the sash cords are screwed in because that's just how we do it in my sash window business. So we're gonna ease that out there. I'm gonna undo the screws. One. You might find, in fact, you probably will find that there's nails in there. And all you need to do if there's nails in there, just get some pincers and just ease the nails out. They'll probably be like four or five nails. And then we just take the bottom sash out. Easy as that. Number three, remove the weight pocket cover and parting bead. So your lower sash is out. Next step is to get the parting bead and the weight pocket cover out. Now, again, I've got a nice clean new box sash window here. You're gonna have another one caked with paint. So what you wanna be doing is getting your knife and scoring down the line of the parting bead just to try and break that seal of the paint. So we're gonna go all the way up and we're gonna go the other side and we'll do it on both sides. So score all the way down that join. Yeah, up on the other side if you can. So once that's scored, just use a screwdriver or maybe a little chisel and you're gonna ease the parting bead out. Now it's Right, so I understand that this is a really quick step guide to changing sash cords and there's a lot more to it. That's why I've put together a free PDF. So there's a link below this video in the description. If you click that, you can download the PDF for free and it explains exactly how to do everything we're talking about here. It's gonna get trapped a bit here where this part of the meeting rail of the top sash sticks out. So you just gotta ease it past there and take that out. Again, top tip is going to be when you take that out for the left side or right side, just mark it on the back edge of there. So the staff beads out, just ease the weight pocket cover out. This is going to give you access to the weights. Do the same on the other side. I wish they all came out as easy as these ones. It might be a bit of a struggle when you're doing it at, or actually on a box sash window that's got a hundred years worth of paint on it. And we're gonna take our weight pocket cover out of this side as well. Number four, remove the upper sash. Right, so we've removed the pie and bead, we've removed the weight pocket cover, now it's time to take out the top sash. So we're just gonna do the same as we've done with the lower sash. So we're gonna move it to the bottom just got to double check here that if them cords were already broken, nothing's going to be holding this sash. Yeah, so you just got to be careful. So we'll move it down. We're going to get a panel pin. We 
you're just going to pin that in there. Do the other side. Just going to ease this sash out a little bit. Just get my drill driver. Again, I've got screws in here, it could be nails. Gonna ease it out a bit. Always holding the sash. And this is the difficult bit, because we gotta hold it and take the screw out without dropping it. There we go, top sash out. Number five, mark up the sash and the box frame so it's easy for you to cut the cords once you've hung the weights. Right, so what we need to remember before we can cord up is we need to take a measurement from the bottom of the sash to probably about an inch above where the rebate starts. Um, we need to do that to make cutting the sash cords like a, a lot easier. Now, obviously, it's hard for me to explain this calculation, but in the free PDF that you can download below this video, it, it's all explained in there. Number six, cord up and hang the weights. So we're gonna use the sash mouse, which is one of these. Um, basically, it's just a piece of string with a bit of lead on it. Um, in our other videos, we show you how to make these, so, so check that out. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the end of the sash cord and tie our mouse to it. Spin that over a little bit, and we're gonna go one, two, three times tie that on so it doesn't fall off. Now we're always going to go through the back of the pulley. So we're going to put it through there. So the back pulley always first so we can get the weights in. We're going to feed that through and then our mouse is going to drop down and we're going to pull it through here all the way down. If you haven't got a mouse, it's going to be an absolute nightmare to try and get the cord through the box frame because it's just going to get caught up in the back. So we're going to pull that through there. And we're going to take our weight for the top sash and we're just going to tie the knot in there. One, two, three. We're going to tuck the knot in. Move that round there. And we're going to pull the weight up. Right, so I'm just going to let that sit there. Right, so we're going to pull that so the weight hits the back of the pulley wheel. Now, you don't want to do that hard because you don't want to knock the pulley wheel out. So what I do to make it easier is I just put my foot on the cord you see that that cord can't be pulled any further i've got a 40 mil panel pin i'm just going to put that through the cord into the box frame give it a knock down and then a top tip if i can find it so top tip here is take a piece of masking tape and then we're going to pull the cord down to where we mark the box frame remember we talked about that mark that has to be done we're going to put a bit of masking tape around it and we're going to use our pincers or scissors whatever you've got and we're going to cut through the tape and that stops the ends of the cord fraying there we go and we're just going to do that for all four cords and we'll move on to the next step number seven hang the top sash so we've got all four cords hung now so they're all attached to the weights and they're all pulled up to the back of the pulleys now one thing before we've got to do before we hang this um upper sash is we need to take a measurement from the top of the box frame to just below the pulley wheel um, and then we're going to transfer that mark on here and that's just so when we put a screw or a nail in the top sash in the rebate it's not going to hit the pulley wheel itself Again, it's all explained in the PDF. So, that being said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hang this top sash. Now, I'm gonna use screws, just because that's the way we do it in my sash window business. It's a lot more secure, but you can use nails. These are 25 mil screws. 
Let's find my drill driver. So we're going to sit the sash into the box frame. Move them cords out of the way. Now this is what we do the mark for. So I'm going to get that out of the way and that out of the way. Probably better off showing this side. So we've got a mark here on the sash and I want to put my screw probably about an inch or 30 mil below that mark. I'm just going to put that in there. And I've got another screw just sitting here and I'm going to do that on the other side. Now the reason we put it below the mark is going to give our weight a bit of room behind the pulley when we hang it. So what we'll do is when we screw it in, I'm going to lift that cord up and marry it up with that mark. So I'm just going to bend that out. So my screw... is aligned with that mark. Same on the other side. And we're just gonna put that in the rebate, sit it backwards. Now, I would always put three or four screws or nails in the side, but just showing you, I'm just doing it with one. Um, so holding the cord, I'm going to take my pin out. That weight will release a little bit. I've done all my calculations right, it should go nice to the top. There we go, perfect. So the top sash is hung, right? So once that's done, it's time for us to put our weight pocket covers back in. And our parting bead, and we're just going to feed that up in there. Give it a little tap with a hammer. Little trick here so you don't damage the parting bead. If you turn your chisel around the other way, old chisel that is, do the same for the other side. Weight pocket cover back in. Parting bead in. Number eight, hang the lower sash, refit the staff bead, and you're all done. Right, so time to hang the lower sash. So top sash has gone in we've got a pipe and B back here we've got our weight pockets uh, covers back in so just like we've done the top sash we're gonna offer our bottom sash up we've got our marks on there that we've done earlier just gonna get my drill driver and again you can use nails if you want So putting your screw an inch or so, just below that mark. I'm just gonna ease the sash out. Align the screws or nails. Remember we're always putting four in, three or four in either side. Always remember to hold the cord when you take the pin out. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right, so last but not least, we just got to put the staff bead back on. So we do our left one, stick it in there, give it a little bit of a bend Put that in there, right hand side one, little bit of a bend, ease it in. Then what I would do is I'd just pilot that with a two mil pilot bit, put some 40 mil pins in there. If you've got a nail gun, even easier. And then just run a bead of cork down there. And that's your sash cords replaced. Easy, right?